Let's bring out the suckers, I mean actors, who allow themselves to be physically, mentally, and emotionally abused on camera for our enjoyment. Come right over there, Lou Taylor Pucci's coming out first. Shiloh Fernandez. Jessica Lucas and Jane Levy. There they are. Wow. And now, the guy who's going to be giving you nightmares for the rest of your life, Evil Dead director, Fede Alvarez. And finally, is that, is that poop stick or is someone just happy to see you? The man who put Evil Dead on the map, and what a disgusting map it is, Producer and professional Deadite Slayer, the always groovy Bruce Campbell! Yeah, looking good, Bruce. It's snappy. All right, calm down out there. Bruce. Yes. <laughs> For a while, you guys, uh, you seem to be toying with the idea of either an Evil Dead sequel or a remake. Weren't sure which. I know you wrote all about this in the new issue of Entertainment Weekly, On Stands Now. Good time. Like that plug? Is that nice? Uh, but for those of the people that didn't get to a uh, chance to buy that magazine, uh, <laughs> oh, God. Why you explain? Why did you decide? Is this about Evil Dead or your stupid magazine? A <laughs> little bit of column A and a little bit of column B. Why, why did you decide to go with this sort of reboot uh, route that you did? That's a good question, and it happened over a, a lumpy period of time. Uh, we always had talked about a, uh, a sequel, not a remake, until this guy got involved. Uh, <laughs> A sequel never really happened because Sam Raimi was making the biggest movies in Hollywood. Spider-Man took 10 years of his life. I've been on a TV show for seven years. The highly rated burn notice. Thank you for noticing that. So when, when the hell are we going to do it? Each of these movies takes two or three years of our lives, so it didn't seem practical. Fetty made a short on the internet called Panic Attack. If you haven't seen it, it's really cool. Two weeks later, this schmo is in everybody's uh, Hollywood office. He signs with CAA. I can't get these assholes on the phone. And he signed with them. <laughs> Sorry, CAA, if some of you assholes are there. <laughs> but anyway, so one of his meetings was with Sam. And Sam found out that he was an Evil Dead fan. And you can tell an Evil Dead fan who's a real Evil Dead fan because they won't fucking shut up about it. <laughs> So that's how he knew. So they got to talking. They were going to make a feature version of Panic Attack, which got bogged down into development hell. Huge surprise. And so Fetty started pitching ideas, and one of them was an Evil Dead without the Ash character with five new suckers, victims. Uh, and that way it would allow us, because Sam is, was very sensitive to the idea of being able to make another Evil Dead with the Ash character and allowing Fede to come up with his whole new take on a whole new series of movies. So when I'm in my golden years, I want to be able to introduce four Evil Dead movies and three other Evil Dead movies. I think seven is a good number. So we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. I just need a few more. So that's, that's the short version. All right. <laughs> Fede, I, I, I've seen the movie, and, and i got to know, how the hell did you get an R rating for this? I love it. The rating, the rating disclaimer, people, says strong bloody violence and gore, some sexual content and language, which doesn't even begin to describe the stuff that's going down in this film. So did, did you have to take anything out to, to get that R rating, or what? No. I mean, you know, MPA can really drive me crazy sometimes, and they were really helpful. This one, they were, they were really helpful. They, you know, they were very precise about what was the problem you know, with the with the movie. Like, if we were going to, you know, based on the script, they were saying like, well, that scene, that scene, that scene. They were a little bit too disturbed. You know, as you may witness it. And um, so we just we, we never had to get rid of anything, which is the good news. We 
we just maybe just three five frames and we got an outrage. So we stand it right on the line and in that way this is a, definitely by far the hardest outrated movie out there. I think they interpreted the carnage and mayhem as exuberant. Yeah. <laughs> Rather than like torture porn, which makes you want to go back to your room and kill yourself. <laughs> screenings we've been having, people are talking, they're jibber-jabbing because there's a lot of nervous energy. You watch a torture porn movie and they're all dead at the end of the movie. They've all killed <laughs> This isn't like that. This is, this is... There's always a hero in an Evil Dead movie, right? Like, the difference between this movie and other horror movies, I think, is there's always, instead of the characters being just victims, uh, somebody who always going to take a stand at the end and fight back, which is like, always awesome to watch. Yeah. Well, hero or not, I mean, Jane, you, the amount of abuse you take in this film is just is just absurd. I mean, uh, did this bastard Fede apologize to you while he was drenching you in blood and stabbing you and having you molested by vines and whatnot? I don't know. There was no apology. Do you want to apologize right now? Good <laughs> public apology. No, I mean, we're, 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 we're still friends, so that means something. Give, give me your worst day on set, Jane. Give, give us a little insight to your worst day on set. I think... The hardest thing I did in this movie was get buried alive. Uh, oh, big deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We did it a couple ways, but one of the ways was with a plastic bag tied around my, my head. Um, and I had an oxygen tube sneaky behind my ear. And I laid in a ditch until I was completely covered with dirt. And Fede, for the, the shot when it was my face, and my face was getting covered, I'm screaming at my brother. Uh, is the one who put the dirt on my face until I completely disappeared. And then I Sam Raimi would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> this is because at the end of the day, I mean, all of you guys, like, when you go watch a movie, do you want to see a lot of fake stuff or do you want to see a lot of real stuff? I want to see real stuff. I don't want to see people faking it. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. And they're not really scared. And I think at the end of the day, they were, they were, they were not faking it. They were, yeah, everything you had to see in the camera is like pretty real. What do you think it's mean? But that's the whole point. No actors will ever work with you again. <laughs> Just human beings. Jessica, you didn't get off easy either. I mean, you've been around.